Hey guys, so just quickly before this video starts, I currently have 50% off on my creative preset pack on the AOV web. Have a look in the link below, and yeah, let's go. For this location, I haven't gone anywhere like exciting or anything. It's just for garden. We've got some tarpaulin on the floor so we don't get uh, the paint everywhere, and like you can do this at home. It's not that hard. We've got the paint off of Amazon. So for this shoot, we're using my Canon 70 Mark II. We use my 50mm 1.8 lens on top of that. We've got to use a very high shutter speed, so we're using a shutter speed of about 200 to 250 to try and get that motion blur of the actual powder hitting her and aperture of 1.8 because we need to get that shadow depth field it looks really nice it keeps it focused on just a center especially on the tight shots you want to get a low aperture so you can actually focus and see her clearly and do you want everything in the background I've obviously got a white top because it's a bit of a canvas so you can actually see all the paint really nice and it's gonna look cool so yeah okay so for the first shot we're gonna do is a really close up of the face and first of all we just want to get the powder on the side we're just gonna like experiment and see what looks good so first of all we're gonna use a nice blue because it's really nice and vibrant and it's just gonna start off and we're just gonna see we've got a lot of different colors we've got blues greens purples and oranges and we're just gonna experiment and see what looks cool three two one go <laughs> I missed the face I added this clip in by the way guys just because I want you all to know that not everything runs as smooth as they appear Even though this is like a tutorial video on how to help do these kind of videos It's not always gonna go to plan and you've got to trial and error and I'm like really want to emphasize that you've always got to try new things because the first half of this shoot, I'll be totally honest with you, did not go that well. I mean, we didn't have enough paint on the center. We didn't really know how to do posing wise. So it just didn't look that good, but like, we persevered. And then at the end of it, as you can see, like we got some really nice pictures. So you just got to keep at it and try out new things. So a good idea is to bring like a phone or a mirror or anything on like the location so you can actually see what you're doing. So you can see Louis is just helping the center apply some where we just some of like rubbed off throughout the shoot. So we can see where it looks good. And so did a good job here. You doing good? Yeah, does that look better? That does look really nice. It yeah. does look better, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah thank you. So that looks cool. Um, what we're going to do now for this kind of shot On is we've now like covered the center in this paint, but we're going to try and fill the background because I know it's quite boring. It's just like this green hedges, but like when you've got the powder and you get an assistant to smack behind it, it goes absolutely everywhere. So it looks really nice. Set, three, two, one, and just keep brushing your hair off there. Three, two, one, go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Move, move, move. Lovely. Three, two, one, go. And just keep moving about. So uh, <laughs> I thought I'd chuck every single colour into the mix and we'll do a part over the center. Let's see what it looks like. And we'll have a look at what it looks like. We'll have a and that's what it's all about, it's just trying out different things and seeing what looks good basically. It's a really good idea to try and get someone to help you out of this. Obviously, I had two of my assistants, Louis and Jamie, they helped me out. I felt that the best shots that I got was when two of them both clapped their hands on either side of her. And just the vibrancy from the two colors just makes the image so more powerful. So that's what I really loved about this shoot. Anyway, guys, that's kind of a few tips, and I hope that helps a little bit, and it helps you get creative. Have a look in the link below if you want to get these paints yourself, because I've also put a link on the Amazon for that. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.